Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are gonna install OpenCV. For that purpose, first of all, we need to install CMake. Actually, in the Linux part, you are gonna remember uh, for the to be able to build the source file of OpenCV, we need CMake. So, uh, first of all, we need to install CMake for uh, Windows. Actually, in the CMake page, all you need to do is just clicking to the installer of the Windows, which is this one. I already downloaded and let me open that one and double click to the installer uh, file and just click to the next next and um, okay it can be do not add CMake to the system pad um, okay maybe this can we can choose next and CMake in the program files okay next and install so now it's, it's gonna install the CMake after CMake installation done, we can continue. CMake installation has just finished and now all we need to do is just getting OpenCV source files and we are gonna create a build file and it's gonna build the source accordingly. So now we need to download OpenCV source files and this is the OpenCV main page and here you can choose the desired version of OpenCV accordingly. I don't want the latest version to install and I want a 4.6.0 now all you need to do is just click to the sources part and it's gonna directly download the source files and also we need to download uh, OpenCV contribution files this is needed for extra functionalities to be able to use with OpenCV and in here you can also download contribution file accordingly there is one thing I need to mention in here maybe for example whatever version you are downloading the same version you need to download for the contribution so you need to check choose from here and the same version you need to download just be careful for this part and uh, uh, after downloading I already downloaded by the way since they are taking little time this is the downloaded zip file of the OpenCV source and OpenCV contribution sources and uh, I extracted them into the C file of my uh, computer you can also uh, extract according to the which part you want to build OpenCV so I chose this uh, folder accordingly and also I need to create one more folder which is gonna be the my build folder so all of the uh, build things is gonna happen inside this build folder and uh, all is done now we can switch to the CMake part and I want to choose my source file of OpenCV which is gonna be in my local disk and users this one and source and OpenCV so I'm choosing my source file and I need to choose my build target file folder and I'm choosing that one also now um, all I need to do is just configure in here we are gonna use MinGV because uh, first of all I want to get uh, the OpenCV usage in Qt later maybe since I didn't download VS MSVC compiler yet so first of all we are gonna continue with the MinGV uh, I need to specify the native compiles because I want to use in the Qt tools part actually I can show you that part also um, my Qt in here and uh, tools um, MinGV bin file and here there is two executable compiler which is G++ and GCC and you need to specify these native compilers according to in the CMake site so I already specified and just click to the finish one after this is done it's just starting the configuration and uh, this can little take time uh, after this is done also we need to configure more a uh, couple of times more because we need to specify Qt uh, pets after this is done also uh, we we didn't yet specify the um, contribution file pad so we need to do them after the first uh, configuration is done nice little wait hopefully this is not gonna take long time
okay this is done um now we need to find there's a should be some extra pet kind of things let me search maybe a little down um open cv um maybe we can search extra okay open cv extra module pet is gonna be our contribution pet which is gonna be in the source folder and contribution modules all we need to do choose this folder and select this one and also i want to enable with um qt this is disabled currently so uh since we want to use with qt and with qt features so we need to choose enable this one and after this is done uh we can configure one more time okay this is done more faster okay that's great now um i want to also specify the for example qt6 we are using if you downloaded qt5 you need to uh you need to update modify these parts accordingly so this qt6 directory i want to specify and i want to go to the pc which my qt is installed and in here i'm choosing the kit version uh kit folder of the qt and here minjv and um here lib file cmake and qt6 this is the file we needed and select folder and configure one more time okay after this is done i'm expecting some other qt pets is gonna recognize it automatically for example um let me see okay this qt gui directory and other kind of things so uh configuration also done seems everything's working fine uh nothing wrong okay um yeah i think we didn't miss anything if we miss anything uh, later we can update easily also not a big problem now we can generate and uh let's see how this is done also this is done so all things is done in the build target folder so cmake part is done now the next step is gonna be uh in the terminal side uh, see you in there um okay in the next step we need to continue with the terminal so we need to open a command prompt of the windows which is in here so uh in the command prompt we need to go to the specified directory which is the build is uh which the build is created so we need to go to that directory so cd source and cd build and here we need to uh, start the mac so we, the same if you already watched the linux version of the opencv installation you are gonna remember after the cmake is done the next step is make and install continue accordingly so in here we since we are using minjv we are gonna continue with that one the specified name is minjv32 is uh make and the um also i don't know ampro is working in here or not okay number of the processes i don't remember what is in the uh, windows site so anyway so if you know the core number of your computer you can specify accordingly so we are gonna call minjw32 uh, make and the number of the core in your computer hum because this is gonna be faster accordingly i can specify 16 and um all is done i can start the make step so uh this can take little time after this is done also see you again so make has just finished now we are gonna continue with the installation uh part so all we need to do is just make install and now it's gonna install accordingly so when this is finished then see you again so installation step also finished so the all we need to do is just now opening the qt creator and trying our uh, open cv we already installed correctly or not and create a new project and uh, we can create a non qt project and plain c plus plus application just choose and we can call the name as opencv test okay and the next and i want to use qmake for starting because it's easy to uh, link the libraries and just click to the next i'm gonna use minjv msvc not yet installed and next and finish okay 
So this is our simple hello world project of to C++ and uh, we can remove here. We are not gonna use this one. And now we are gonna include OpenCV libraries and simply I just want to show an uh, image with imshow. And now uh, we need to go to the build folder. So we already installed OpenCV into here. And the install uh, folder in here we need to first of all uh, define the include path of OpenCV. So just calling include path and plus is equal to and here we just need to go into this path and control add and copy copy this path into here. So this is the first step and the other step is we need to um, get the libraries I mean the DLL libraries into the libraries definition and it's gonna be inside the mean gv folder and here let me check not this one and here yeah all the dll libraries installed into here uh, for example uh, image processing or high jewel dls in here um, also we can copy this path into here maybe we need uh, image processing and the high g just copy two of these and get the high g dll and paste okay also image processing dll is gonna be enough i think let's copy this and paste to here accordingly okay this is done now we can switch to the main cpp part and just include opencv okay actually it should uh, recognize directly opencv because inside the install folder include there is opencv why it didn't recognize um ah yes because we already installed but oh uh, yeah i really hate sometimes about these issues in the windows side okay we need to edit the environment variables we are just going there i think this one we need to edit just click edit and if I'm not wrong, we need to add the um, this install include path. I mean this one, this one, and source and uh, build install this one minji and bin. Yeah, this one we need to let the system knowing about this path okay and hopefully now it should recognize let's try let's try from zero oh still it doesn't recognize what is wrong maybe should i um, reopen the qt project save all qt um, projects on cv test okay so let's try again okay now it's coming yeah so just be careful don't be worried if you do not directly recognize OpenCV so just go to the environment and set the uh, bin folder of the MinGV okay um, now we need to uh, maybe hide you and the other one maybe we need to include image processing okay so now we can create a simple Net image is equal to CV imrit and um, I already downloaded before an image here. Just open the properties and copy the location. Um, okay, so but I think this will be accepted by the code. Okay and now we can call directly imshow and calling window then image and of course wait now hopefully it should work let's try okay of course it will not work why it complains um undefined reference to the cv mat and kind of we already included two libraries and their dls but maybe uh, if we go to the build folder again 
and source build okay install so maybe some DLS uh, it requested to define again for example which one can be uh, maybe this image codec can be just copy again and copy this one and paste yeah image codec is needed for imlit at least i know but let's see let's run again okay it still complains uh what we are missing matt oh uh, okay at least it's not complaining about the imlit because yeah um where it can be maybe core let's try core again to be sure i recommend add all of the dls so it will not complain for anything anymore so we added core also let's run again uh, okay so we didn't specify the image at least it's working fine just images that hopefully it is jpeg okay now it's working fine so our qt features also working you can see here and these buttons coming from the kind of qt features which is embedded into the open cv so okay uh it means uh, we already successfully installed open cv into our windows but there are some issues yeah as i said i really hate windows but uh it's okay we, we all learn together um we currently we are just using qt and mingv for opencv running and um we need msvc we need to uh also run this in visual studio also maybe because i'm sure many people is gonna use uh, is gonna need at least this kind of things but uh for the qt users uh good news is we already installed and it's working fine currently we just use for with qmake also with cmake also uh cmake also more complicated you need to set the libraries again some kind of things maybe in another video we can try with cmake example and yeah for this video i think i'm done we successfully installed opencv thanks for watching see you in the next videos